Hello, uh, this should hopefully be a shorter video. This is how to update the firmware on an Arbor module. Uh, so there are three situations that you might be in which will determine which process you're going to want to follow that's shown in this video. So situation one, you are you currently have an Arbor that's running version 2 and you just want to update it to the very latest version. So for example, that could be going from the 2.0 to a 2.1 or 2.2. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, there may or may not be any any updates post 2.0 published. Um, if there are, then you're currently watching this from the future, and that's pretty cool. Uh, situation number two, you have an Arbor that is running version one firmware, and you want to upgrade that entirely to version two. Uh, and the third situation, you also have an Arbor running V1, and you purchased one of the expansion packs. So this will show how to do that upgrade quickly from the pack. This is how to identify if you're running version one or version two firmware on your Arbor. Uh, you're gonna do that by pressing shift and capture and holding. So this is the uh, button combination for selecting uh, which onset detection mode is engaged. Uh, on version one, so this Arbor's running version one, this one's version two, press and hold shift and capture I can see that four LEDs are lit I've got alpha beta gamma delta so that's the four modes for onset detection on v1 if I do the same thing on v2 you can see we have six LEDs lit there so we have alpha beta gamma delta epsilon zeta so shift and capture and six onset modes means you're on v2 four onset modes means you're on v1 so in this section, I'm going to show how to update the version 2 firmware. So in this context, I have an Arbor running version 2.0, and I'm going to update that to the latest version of version 2. Um, so in this setup, I have this Arbor connected in the back to this expander unit here. So this is my USB port for this Arbor. We can ignore this one for the time being. Uh, so this update process is done entirely via the USB drive. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this into my computer and first up, let's download the newest version. Uh, so I'm going to go to the install website, support page, firmware, and then Arbor. So we can see a couple of versions. I've got the 2.0, which is uh, specifically for micro SD card. So this is what's used if you're upgrading from version one to version two, but we're just updating to the latest version two. So I'm gonna download this one, which says for USB. Download that and let's have a look at the USB drive itself. So you can see we have an underscore Arbor library, underscore Arbor scenes and underscore updater. So it's this underscore updater folder that we're gonna be utilizing. Uh, so now I'm going to copy over my newly downloaded firmware update. Uh, so this is the .gz file. Um, eject that. And now to apply the update, connect the USB drive to my Arbor and power cycle. Uh, what this will do on this first power, uh, power cycle is going to be looking for anything in that underscore updater folder and will just apply the update automatically. So the startup sequence might be slightly slower than, than typical. Uh, you can see the V1's already booted, so this will be, here we go. It's entered its red screen, it should show the onset modes. And here we go, that's us running. Um, that's it done. So what you might want to do just to do a confirmation, if you pull the USB drive again, put that back in your computer, let's have a look. There we are. So now there is a new file in the root directory, which is called applied underscore updater. Uh, so this is generated when an update procedure occurs and it's just there as an indicator that it's, it's done the job. So we're now running this uh, you know, newer version of V2. Uh, we can see the underscore updater folder still has our update file in it. Uh, what's probably best practice to do at this stage is you can just delete that applied uh, file. You can see here it's it's zero bytes, so it's uh, literally a null null file. Just delete that, and it's probably best practice to remove this from the underscore updater folder. Um, just delete that. Uh, 
if an arbor sees anything in the updater folder that's a valid update it will reapply or reinstall that update every single time so it's not not necessarily a problem it will just mean you'll have a slightly slower startup cycle uh, on your arbor so it's good practice to keep these clear especially if you utilize multiple usb drives uh, so say you've got your hot swapping and using different samples and scenes across different drives um, just on the off chance there might be an older update still in one of the underscore update uh, updater folders uh, hot swapping drives you might inadvertently roll back to an older firmware version so uh, yep keeping that clear and only using that folder when applying a new update is the best practice um, so last thing of note i'm going to turn back to my arbor and i'm just going to power cycle that once more uh, because this will be dependent upon the update but uh, there may be a process where the update's applied it's now running the new firmware but there might be a a new initialization required of files or you know internal structure so one more power cycle will ensure that everything is then uh, brought up to date and there we go that's us up and running so that's how to update v2 to v2 point something So in this section I'm going to show how to upgrade from the version 1 firmware to the core version 2 firmware. Uh, so this process is a little bit more involved so it's probably best to maybe watch this section a couple of times just before you start so you know exactly what the, the process entails. Uh, we're going to need some sort of micro SD card reader for this. Uh, so I'm using just a little adapter from micro to standard. Um, this could also work with a USB to SD adapter. Um, yeah, some way of getting SD card to your computer is going to be necessary. So first up, we are going to power off the system and unrack our Arbor module. Okay, so now I can remove this from the system. Disconnect it and I'm going to removing the micro SD card, which is at the bottom left corner on the inside here. Gently remove that. Here we go. So this SD card is what's going to get the update applied to it. So now over on your computer, you can go to the support page, Arbor, and let's download the latest version, which specifies for micro SD. Download that. Now I'm going to recommend using a free program called Balena Etcher. Uh, is cross-platform and pretty easy to use so we just want to download and install that. So Etcher is going to be used for flashing the image to the micro SD card. Um, this is this is akin to burning a CD-ROM for anyone that, that remembers that. Um, yeah it's not as simple as just a basic file transfer it needs to be burned on bit by bit so Etcher does that very very efficiently. Now I'm going to connect my micro SD card to the computer and open Etcher and first step, I'm going to select the new update image file. So I can either click on flash from file here and find it in the directory that I downloaded to, or I could even just drag the img.zip to this first section here. Uh, you don't need to unzip the file before this. Etcher will do that as part of the process. Uh, I'm going to then select target. And here we are, that's my SD card reader. Select that and click flash. So, so the time for this transfer, it could vary between computers. Um, it'll be the speed of the SD card reader. I uh, assume the, the cycles of the moon and zodiac might play in as well. Uh, once this is done, uh, there's a verification stage. It can be skipped if you like to live dangerously, but uh, probably worth just letting that run anyway. Here we go. So this has now installed the version two core firmware. Uh, all we do now is pull that out reinsert it back into our arbor put it back in the system screw it in i'm not going to do that again on camera and power power it on and here we go it should just boot and we'll be in version two if there are any additional updates available these are all going to be applied via the usb drive uh, in the same process shown previously in this video
So if you have purchased the optional expansion pack for the, uh, for the Arbor, uh, this is how to update the firmware using it. First up, we'll open this up, see what's in the box. We've got a, a new quick start guide for the V2 firmware. This is our USB expander, so same as that guy there. And inside there should be an envelope containing a couple of things. Here we go. So this is a new 8 gigabyte white USB drive. Uh, the expansion pack comes with the sample library preloaded on that. And there's also a pre-flashed micro SD card. Uh, so to update using this, all we need to do, power down the system, unscrew your module if it isn't already, take it out, and we're just going to swap the SD cards. Oh, so that's the old one, set that aside. Put the new one in, reconnect, and there we go. Screw your module in, of course, but uh, you know how to do that. So any future updates to the version 2 firmware, uh, they can all be done via the USB drive, either the, the white one that comes with the expansion pack, an older black one or any that you happen to be using uh, and that's following uh, the procedure that's shown previously in this video.